Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.10 for free using your phone. By the end of this video, you'll have homebrew on your 3DS or 2DS. What you'll need is an SD card, an Android phone, add an SD card reader for or in your Android phone. You'll also need an internet connection for both your phone and 3DS. This video works on all 2DS and 3DS consoles, and it can't damage your console either. And just in case you didn't know, this tutorial does not work with Apple phones. But please don't blame me, blame Apple, for not even including a proper file manager in their operating system. I make new videos like this almost every week. So to see my videos as soon as I upload them, click that subscribe button and the bell beside it, and you'll know exactly when my next video is out. To become a channel supporter, hit that blue join button below this video, or click the link below, which says become a channel supporter. But now, let's get started, and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. First of all, open up system settings and check your firmware version. Yours will be shown in the bottom right corner of the top screen. Your firmware version should start with 11.10. Write down your entire firmware version because you will need it later. What we're going to do next is open up the Nintendo eShop because we're going to download a free game from there. With Homebrew you can install Homebrew apps like tools, utilities, emulators and lots more. I'll link two of my emulator videos at the end of this video. Once the eShop's loaded up, tap the search bar and type in Subwars like I am here. Tap OK and it should take you to this game here, but this isn't the right one actually, because it has an update in the title. We're going to scroll this way and look for this game here. This one's the one we want. As you can see, I have downloaded this game before, but don't worry, this game is free, it's actually just a demo. Once it's finished downloading, head back to the home menu and then open your new game. When you try to open the game, you should see this message. Do not update the game, because if you update the game, Homebrew won't work later when we go to install it. Make sure you press A to open the game without updating. If you update your game by mistake, then check the video description. I have a video explaining how to remove the update right there. Once you open the game without updating, you should see this screen. Let's tap the screen and then tap OK. Select a me, then press the A button. Then return to the title screen by hitting the B button. Now close the software and grab your phone. In your phone's internet browser app, tap the URL bar and enter in. 3ds.console.guide and you'll be taken to the 3ds page on my website.
find this video right here. To start off, tap the boot file button. Once on this page, scroll down, then tap assets, then tap boot.3dsx and the file will be saved to your phone. Next, tap the steel hacks button and then tap download and this will download the file to your phone. Now tap the Brute Force Movable button. The next file we'll need will be processed by BruteForceMovable.com. You can help BruteForceMovable.com by processing other people's files on your PC. And the more files you process, the higher you'll get on your leaderboard. Once you've read this message and consider becoming a volunteer, click the Continue button. Now we're going to find our friend code and enter it into this box. To find your friend code, head over to your 3DS and open up your friends list and then find your friend card. You can see my friend code right here. Enter your friend code into this box. Once you've entered your friend code, you're now going to enter your ID 0 number. To find your 3DS's ID 0 number, Open up your phone's files app and then open up your 3DS's SD card on your phone. A lot of phones nowadays have an SD card slot built in, but if yours doesn't fit, or if you don't have one, you'll need a USB adapter. I'll have one linked below on Amazon. So now open up your 3DS's SD card and select the folder named Nintendo 3DS. Then rename this folder to My Nintendo 3DS like this. Once you've done that, put the SD card back in your 3DS and then turn it on. Once you power on your 3DS, you should get this message right away. Your 3DS wallpaper and downloaded games won't show up when doing this, but we'll get them back in a second. Once it's finished, power off your 3DS, then put the SD card back into your phone. Now on your phone, open up the SD card once again and you should see a new Nintendo 3DS folder. You should have one named My Nintendo 3DS and one named Nintendo 3DS. Open up the one named Nintendo 3DS and you'll find a folder inside. Select this folder, choose Rename and then copy the name of this folder. Switch back to your browser and then paste the folder name into BruteForceMovable.com in the ID0 section. Next, over on the SD card, delete the new Nintendo 3DS folder, the one named Nintendo 3DS. Then select My Nintendo 3DS, choose Rename, and then rename it back to Nintendo 3DS. Ensure you name this folder correctly. Back in your browser, Tap the I am not a robot button, then click go. The website should now give you a friend code to enter on your 3DS. Don't use my friend code which I have here. Use the one which the website gives you. To add the friend code, head over to your 3DS and open your friends list once again. Tap register friend and then tap internet. Then enter the friend code which the website gave you. You may or may not be asked to enter a name for your friend, but if you are, just enter anything you want. You might not become friends immediately, it can take a minute or two, but once you have become friends, the website will update and you'll see this button. You should now see this continue button on the website. Press that continue button and then wait for it to finish. This can take a few seconds to a few minutes. And there we go, it's all finished. Now tap the download movable.sed button and save the file to your phone. Head back to my website and then tap the save file button. 
and on this page, tap browse and then find the movable.std file in your phone's downloads folder. In the region drop down menu, choose the region which matches your 3DS. To find out your region, check your firmware version. If yours ends in the letter E, choose Europe. If it ends in the letter U, choose USA. And if it ends in the letter J, choose Japan. Once you've filled in those two boxes, hit the start button and save the file to your phone. And finally, hit the payload button and you'll see this page. You may want to zoom in here. Enter your 3DS model, if it's old or new, then enter your entire firmware version, which you wrote down earlier. If you're not sure if your 3DS or 2DS is old or new, then look for the C-Stick. If your console has a C-Stick, then your 2DS or 3DS is new. If you don't have a C-Stick, your console is old. Once you've done that, tap download other app and the file will download to your phone. Now open up your files app and find the downloads folder where your browser saved the downloaded files to. Once you're in the downloads folder, we're going to find the Steelhacks installer file and extract it here. If your phone can't read the file, which is a RAR file, search in the Play Store for an app which can extract RAR files. Once you've extracted the folder, find this file and then rename it to payload.bin. It should now be named payload.bin. Next, open up the Steelhacks installer folder. Select the 3DS folder and the Steelhacks folder and then copy these two folders to the root of your 3DS's SD card. Back in your downloads folder, grab the boot.3dsx file and the payload file and copy them to the root of your 3DS's SD card. Then take the payload file and move it to inside the Steelhacks folder. The payload file is now in the Steelhacks folder. Then delete this put payload here file. Now for a quick recap. The 3DS folder, Steelhacks folder and boot file should be on the root of the SD card. And inside the Steelhacks folder should be the payload file and two other files. Back in the downloads folder, grab your save file and move it as I move it. First we're going to take it to your SD card, then the Nintendo 3DS folder, and then the folder which is your ID0 number, then this folder, and then the title folder, then this folder, and then the folder starting with 000D7. The folder name after that may be different for you, but it will start with 000D7. We are then going to open the data folder and copy it right here and replace the file already inside. The last thing to do is go back to the root of the SD card and then open the 3DS folder. And then delete this folder, named Steelhacks Installer. We don't need this app in our 3DS folder. Once you've done all that, you're pretty much done. You can now delete the files in your downloads folder you won't need them anymore. Now on your 3DS, open up Steel Diver Subwars. 
without updating the game. And that's it, you've just installed Homebrew on your 3DS on firmware version 11.10 for free using your phone. You can see the Homebrew launcher is quite empty, there's no Homebrew apps at all. But don't worry, I have videos on my channel on how to install emulators, tools and lots more. I'll have two emulator videos linked at the end of this video like I said earlier. But now to exit the Homebrew launcher, press the start button and then the A button and you'll be kicked back to the home menu. And there we go, now whenever you want to open Homebrew, just open Skill Diver Subwars and the Homebrew Launcher should open. If your Homebrew Launcher ever crashes, hold down the power button for 10 seconds and then turn your 3DS back on. And remember, if you update the game, Homebrew won't work anymore, so definitely don't update. But now you have Homebrew on your 3DS and I hope you enjoy using it. And I'd like to thank Dead Phoenix for Brute Force Movable, the save file generator website, and the temporary replacement for the payload website, and for generally supporting this video. Very good work. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sordell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.